It's convenient to summarize data as a frequency table. Uh, here we've got a frequency table looking at uh, income for households. Uh, notice that uh, the income is measured in thousands of dollars. So that first line says that there's some people that earned $15,000 uh, a year, I suppose, and uh, that there are six households in the sample that, uh, that earned that amount. The second line says that there are some people that earned $20,000, or at least rounded to the nearest $5,000, and uh, that, that uh, there are eight households in the sample that, uh, that earned that amount. We can capture that data in R. Let's begin by constructing a vector called income. And that will contain this first column. We can create a column for the frequencies that uh, those occurred at, those that uh, earned 15,000. Uh, there were six of them. There were eight of them that earned 20,000 and so on. So what we're doing there is looking at this frequency column so we could recreate this data set because we know that there are six that earn 15,000 and then there are eight that earn 20,000. So I could write in 20,000 eight times. Oh man, that, that, that it would be a really relatively long vector. But if I had that vector, then I could just say, let's find the mean of that vector. Uh, but maybe there's an easier way. What we're interested in finding is adding up all of those 15, those six 15s, all of those 20s, there's eight of them, all of those 25s, there's 11 of them. So let's consider this. Let's look at the income times the frequency. Now let's examine that uh, result. So when we run that script, we get a vector. There's 90. What is that? Well, that's the total of all of the, of the 15 thousands uh, times 6. 6 times 15,000 is 90. And uh, 8 times 20 is 160 and so on. So it's, it, has, uh, it, it has started to do a partial sum here. So if we looked at the sum of the vector that we get by looking at the income times the frequency, we are now going to get the total of that raw data. So let's call that TOT for total because we're trying to find the mean here and we want to add up all the total and divide by how many there are. So now let's worry about finding out how many there are. Well, there were 6 plus 8 plus 11 plus 17. Uh, so n is simply going to be the sum of the frequency column. So now I know the total all added up, and I know how many there are in the sample. So I can find the average as the total divided by n. I'm not going to save that in an object because I'm just interested in knowing what the mean is. So if I run that script, then we find that the mean is 33.9. Now it might be interested, interesting to also find the median. So let's, uh, let's look, we've all got this build already. Let's look and see what n is. So let's, and we discover that there are a total of 100 items in this particular sample. So we could divide that into two groups of 50. So the, between the 50th item and the 51st item is where the median is going to be. So one way to do that it would be to just start counting up 6 plus 8 plus 11 until we got up to where we were looking at 50 items. On, but R can actually tell us that information. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to clean up the script a little bit here because R has a nice function feature called a cumulative sum. If we take the cumulative sum of frequency, let's run that script. 
And so now we can see the cumulative sum. It starts out with 6. 6 plus 8 is 14. Uh, 6 plus 8 plus 11 is 25. 6 plus 8 plus 11 plus 17 is 42. We haven't got to 50 yet. But then in this group is where we get to the 60s. That's the 1, 2, 3, 4. In the fifth row, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's here that we finally get to 50. So 50 and 51 are both earning $35,000. And so the median is going to be $35,000. So we've looked at strategies of having a frequency uh, table for the data and being able to find the mean and the median in that frequency table.